Here's a quick update on our blizzard here in the Midwest. Here it is. We've got it just west of Chicago here. It's moving northeast. We're going to have the continued uh, wraparound moisture and bands, blizzard warnings just east of Minneapolis for Des Moines over to Green Bay. Uh, many of these will be coming to an end tonight as the system pulls northeast across the Great Lakes. You can see some cold rain spreading across New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, down and through Georgia and northern Florida. A lot of thunderstorms down here causing some problems with some possible severe weather as we had a lot of tornado warnings earlier today. So out west here we have system moving in across the Pacific Northwest. We have uh, higher elevation snow above 5,000 feet on the order of about on the order of 15 to 25 inches of snow. And if we take a look at precipitation amounts here in the northeast, this is where we're going to get upwards of an inch or two of rain, particularly upstate New York here is the bullseye of two inches, and along the Gulf Coast down here with some of these severe thunderstorms. This is a five-day precip outlook, by the way. And here in central and northern California, where we could see upwards of eight to ten inches, especially in northern California near Eureka, uh, the Navarro River Basin, these areas could see and further inland towards uh, Redding as well. So we're going to continue to watch that. Let's take a look at snowfall amounts. Interior New York and Pennsylvania, the western part and those little snow belts, six to twelve inches likely uh, across uh, the Midwest here. You can see uh, with that twelve to eighteen inch swath of snow just west of Chicago west of Milwaukee, extending up towards Green Bay. Um, northern Maine here, we could get into some uh, frozen precipitation on the order of three to six inches of additional snow on top of the snowstorm you saw a day or two ago. And we could see some heavy snow accumulations down and through eastern West Virginia here, western Virginia, uh, at the spine of the Appalachians here, where we have some blizzard warnings above 2,500 feet here in West Virginia and Western Virginia as well. So, and winds are going to be strong with this system. We have many, of course, um, high wind warnings and watches across the area. Uh, so, along with this snow, you'll see blowing and drifting snow as well. So, what are we looking at in terms of as this low moves up across the lakes, we're going to see the lake effect kick in. Uh, so, southern tier of New York could see one to three inches, further up 81, and extending down towards Scranton and Harrisburg, little or no snow. This is mainly going to be lake effect across the eastern, east of the Great Lakes here. The western Great Lakes, that's a lot of synoptic snow with the blizzard going on. So let's take a look at the low pressure we're going to be looking at next week. We're going to see, uh, this is the 27th, you're going to see the Euro head more west, the spine of Ap the Appalachians and the GFS is further off the coast. I'm kind of a mixture, a blend between the two models, taking it, hugging it just slightly inland in New Jersey or just slightly off the coast. Somewhere in this area I'm expecting the low pressure to move up through and cause a possible, the word is possible, major snowstorm and possible ice storm across the mid-Atlantic northeast and some portions of the uh, northern and southern states here. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on that. That's nearly a week out. I'm meteorologist Mark Molnar. Like us on Facebook at MeteoMark. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And uh, that's it. Here's a four-day forecast for my hometown viewers from Binghamton, Talmyra, and the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania.